Gogic. How relaxing is that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's the end of August, and here am I, still very incapacitated from my eye, but I can, with a magnifying glass, see enough to hope to redeem my poor, tragic, very wronged Aunt Nadine Stoner Peppers. I'm, I'm looking for an international lawyer, I mean, would you think on the American circuit, who of course will receive his share of the um, funds of my grandmother, Mildred Constance Sherman Camoy's settlement, and that of my great grandmother, Sophia Augusta Brown. Sophia Augusta Brown, here's a part of it, part of the probate, state of Rhode Island, um, and court of Newport. This would be in probate, 28th of June, 1947. This part of this millionaire settlement, Sophia Augusta Brown, widow of uh, William Watts Sherman. And there are a great many details here. I have all the documents, and I am one. I am one of the legitimate legal heirs. However, in 19. 76, in the proofs of the peerage, in the library of the House of Lords, my tragic, terrified Aunt Nadine, much beloved by me anyway, committed a very serious act of perjury, which ultimately drove her into madness and led to her death, her lonely death in 2005. February. Here is the funeral ovation. Oration, sorry, not ovation. Funeral oration in the chapel of Stoner with Piss Hill, Oxfordshire. But unfortunately, unbeknownst to me at the time, and unbeknownst to her godson, the clergyman, who gave the address and um, organised her departure via the chapel at Stoner and the morose churchyard. Hill. She was buried contrary to her will, not in Tanbridge, Surrey, but in this morose, lonely um, churchyard just two miles above Stoner Park. In her will, which I have contested and which I continue to contest, she requested that she should be cremated and buried next door to her beloved husband of so many years, Colonel Tom Pepys. Moreover, she was persuaded by other for by force and against her better will, against her better judgment, to move the settlement of her mother and grandmother, my grandmother and great-grandmother to move the settlement sideways and I am looking for a lawyer in the States who will receive full reward for winning this very extraordinary Anglo-American causa as they say. So now just to top off the day I'll show you what happens to people when they're very very poor by taking you to see the ceiling which the lodger brought down so then you can see how Julia is actually living and I cannot say that I find it um, very just. And indeed, I have, as of last week, petitioned um, His Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester, Prince Richard, as he is my brother's best and I'm sure wisest friend, um, to come to terms with me on all of this, which has gone on since 1976 when my father was murdered by my mother. And you can see here the ceiling's just about to descend. And I live in a little space surrounded by this. Never mind, I'm still cheerful. Many get more than ten years or murder in jail. I tried to help his lawyer. Despite the deluge. Bye, darlings.
But that's 10 years ago.